Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Dead Space 3. About time. Isaac. Isaac, you made it. Thank God. I knew you'd catch up. Norton's not happy. You made it, Isaac. Yeah, you know, maybe we should give you two some time alone, huh? What the hell does that mean? It means for someone who's in the past, you're awfully glad to see him. We need him. This mission needs Come on, him. We need him or you need him. Hey, you got something to say to me, Captain? Stop. Just stop. We need to shut down that damn machine and we don't even know where it is yet. I do. I, I mean, I think I know how to find it. Well, I've been digging through what's left of the research notes and... I thought all that stuff was destroyed. Well, computer data, yes. But the written logs discuss a signal tracking experiment that pinpointed the machine's exact location. Well, I think if we repeat it, we can do the same. But it's at the other end of the complex. Yeah, fine. Fine, let's have a look. I could use a change of scenery. What a dick! He's a real asshole. You know that? Really, really, really. Okay, uh, we have an audio log. Let's uh, have a listen. <laughs> Chapter 10. Now we know. You a drinking man, Serrano? Uh, no, sir. I prefer cognac myself. Probably a bit cliche, but you just can't beat it with a nice cigar. What did you want to see me about? I'm not gonna lie, Professor. I don't like you. The way you look, the way you talk, or the way you conduct business. Look, the Admiral said Admiral I Graves isn't running this show anymore. I am. If you need men to help you thaw those ice cubes to experiment on, you come to me, and only me. Of course, I just thought it'd be how much support you have back home. You're playing a dangerous game, Professor. And out here, you play by my rules. I always loved um, miniature uh, dioramas like this as, uh, as maps. The amount of effort and detail that goes into them is always really, really cool. Okay, we've unlocked this with our talk bar, so it hasn't gone to waste, um, but obviously we could- Ooh, pneumatic to- That says flamethrower to me. That says flamethrower. We might need to see what we can produce with a, a flamethrower. Oh, that- I want to find a bench now. I want to find a bench. Get rid of the rifle on the bottom. Uh, and swap it over for a flamethrower, and then this will be our um, hazard gun. Okay, that's a pretty good room, I'd say, all things considered. Did take uh, some tungsten to get in there. We'll make another bar next time. Next time we're uh, at a bench, just so we have one on us. Ah! Speaking of benches. Heavy sound frame, pneumatic torch, and a parts box. Okay. So, carbine, military engine, oh no. Pneumatic torch. So, flamethrower. Magnesium afterburner. Damage goes up, but the range goes down. Well, actually, no. The range stays the same. So this is a wider area. This is more specific. What else can we do? Precision tip turns it into a cryo gun. That's interesting. You know what? We'll, we'll have it with the compressor. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it feels. While we're here, we'll sell the stasis packs and we'll make some more. Ooh, wrong button. We'll make some more med kits. So we've got five of those. There's the spare tungsten torque bar. 
I do wish you could equip more than two weapons, or at least carry them in your inventory so you could swap between them. Yeah, that that is like super close. Super close range may not be effective, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Actually thinking about it. Let's have a look and see what upgrades we can do for it. Oh, the scavenger bot came back as well. Perfect. Okay. So in the upgrade circuits, reload damage, clip and rate of fire. Those are the things nothing can do range. Okay. That's that's mostly what I wanted to check. So it's probably like as as good as it's gonna be. We could unlock more options, actually. And given how how long we're using this for, let's go plus damage plus clip up here and down here. Plus clip reduce damage. So we'll be able to hold even more fire in it. I'm tempted to unlock both of these actually. Uh, let's get some reload in here. Reload and damage. Great. Sell the plane reload. Sell the plane rate of fire. Sell the plane damage. And you know what? That's that's good enough. So we spent a lot of. Uh, A lot of tungsten unlocking the slots, but... That's going to be... Alright, five. Five is better than four. It's not amazing, but I'll take it. Hey, wait for Isaac. Isaac, we're just outside. Yeah, and we're freezing. Hurry your ass up. Yeah, right, I was... Uh... Getting a flamethrower, you know, to keep everyone warm. <laughs> the body's already waiting at the bench. I could go back for it and, and redeploy it, but we'll grab it at the next one. Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Why take off your helmets? It's Everybody freezing. Go! Oh, no. What? Ow. Yeah. Why take off your helmet? How the hell did Danik's men find us? Come on. Come on. Run. Ali. Go. No oh, God. Me. Right. You know, I actually forgot about these guys right at this. Oh, it's changed my gun. That is frustrating. He's that works. Ah, oh, wrong button. Dude, he just ran right through my blast. Okay, we need to sort out the weapon that we're using right at the start. Well, that's not much use. 
Ooh. Dangerous. Yeah, it says double tap control, but it's actually single tap. So that went all terrible. All kinds of terrible. But we are still alive. The uh, the flamethrower, we did check the range as, uh, as we were fighting. So we know it is super close range. Not a problem in itself, but not uh, not particularly useful if we're trying to do things at any form of range. Somatic gel, that would replace the med kits. We're only one and a half med kits down. Pushing on that way. Nothing else to loot around here that I can see. Here we go. Where did they come from? They must have paled us here. That's impossible. Not through shock space. Yeah? Well, they did. Ellie, did you make it to the warehouse? Oh, God. Here they come. Ellie. It's all right. We'll be fine. Trick is going to be stasising them. And then working from that. Jeez, are we, are we going down a lift? This seems like a bad idea. Damn it. Yeah, the uh the positioning of the projectiles doesn't quite go the way I want it to. That, however, is pretty damn effective. I think that is probably the majority of them. But yeah, take the the taking cover behind stuff doesn't uh, doesn't really work the way I think it's supposed to be working. Push on. I 
have their own grenades, apparently. Yeah, it's just a little sketchy getting the positioning right for these. Uh, let's throw an arm into that. Wow. There we go. Make it a bit safer. It's just lights, nothing special to loot around here. And yeah, this has now gone um, from a horror game to a, an action not quite FPS but you know it's uh, it significantly changed the gameplay yeah I want to go in there but I think we're gonna have to do it in a bit all right let's uh, push on a little Ellie everyone all right yeah I think we're safe we are anything but safe they're after Isaac and we're getting caught in the crossfire. Look, the warehouse. The signal tracking experiment should be inside. You're not worth as much trouble, Clark. I think I am, so you know, eat a bag of dicks. Okay, well, seeing as our boss is back at the bench. A little bit more tungsten. Sell that. We'll craft a new one. A new medium, at least. And... You know what? We may as well put things in on this one. Uh, let's put the rate of fire up. put the damage up even further. Actually, we don't need more more damage on that. I don't think you can increase... Oh, you can increase the damage of the... Uh, of the force gun. Well, that, that makes a difference. Okay. Let's do that then. That's worth us putting stuff in. Right, we're just going to deploy you right here, mate. Go get some more resources for me. Yeah, it's still only... Uh, only 10 shots, but we don't need more than that. Especially seeing as we're using grenades most of the time. Just about, just about safe. Let's uh, make sure we've got as much as we can, keeping us alive. Give me the body. Give, give me the body. There we go. I'm going to loot as we go. is messy. So we'll make it 
don't think it would have done much to help these guys. That's going to explode by itself in a moment, so I think we can leave it as it is. Right, which way does it want us to go? It wants us to go up? Let's check down first then. Another one of those ambush ish areas. We have enough stasis to hopefully be able to extricate us from any real problem. The setup of this is exactly the same as the the previous one, except without the central bit. Really going to give me no rewards for coming down here. I suppose it's a it's a place to put the bot down, isn't it? Well, we don't have it on us, so. Let's walk into the centre just in case there's mobs that appear. No, nope, nothing. Fine, we'll just get out. It's not like, you know, we're being hunted by Danik's men or anything. No. Nope. No urgency in what we're doing here. Probably shouldn't be carrying this. Ow! Missed. He literally just rocked up to me with shotgun. Oh, I was hoping that that would have the distance to blast it. Okay, not got people coming from the sides. Grab the loot from over here. Thing. It's probably an artifact. It is. It's an alien artifact. Personal log, Private Edmund Varley. Everywhere we dig, we find them. Their frozen carcasses trapped in the ice. I know Serrano says they've been dead for two million years, but I can't shake the feeling that some part of them is still alive. Their eyes, they had them, are long gone. But their stares are intense. Accusing, angry, distorted. And around them, always the markers ancient monoliths from an ancient race. Sometimes, when everybody's left the dig site for the day, I hear their icy voices like a whisper in the wind. Turn it off. Turn it off. Ah, jeez. I totally just stasis this dude in here and he did not get hit. he did not get hit by the stasis I also did not want to uh, head out I wanted to pick up the uh, the bits that were in there right uh, you know what let's let's be smart with our med kit that is a dead body 
Don't know if the next one is. Probably not. There it is. A bit more ammo. Children of all. The marker has a plan for all of you. When the time comes, you will be reborn. But for that to happen, Isaac Clark must die. The future of our religion, of our very race, depends upon it. Stop him at any cost. All of them be praised. Yeah. The Hammond's heavy frame. Ooh, that sounds unique. We might have to... We might have to switch one of our weapons across to it. This is the only way he could have come. Be ready. Hi, guys. Like, I'm here. Are you here? I think you are here. Oh. Oh, we can grab enemy grenades. That's kind of cool. I mean, my first thought would be why when we can just, like, blast the guys with grenades. Our own ones. But there's always that comedy value, isn't there? Yeah, I think we're probably safe. Huh. Going clean over. Much better. Loot the room, loot the bodies. Tungsten, cool. Nothing on you. Little bit on you. And I think that's, that's everyone. Wants us to go in. Let's loot the area properly first. Bit more ammo. We've got plenty of ammo, so that's that's never going to be a concern. But it means we can be super liberal with our uh, with our grenade usage. Still alive. It was still alive. Oh no, I, I literally just did the whole grenade thing. You know what? I'm fine with how that went. Hmm. You know what? I'll wait for a moment before we use another thing. Because you get shot at that point and you don't have a chance to stop it. There's a small med kit, that'll do. I wish there was more um, unique frames in rather than just uh, Hammond's heavy frame and the uh, elite one you get from the plasma cracker. You know, if you're going for uh, 
Ooh, geez. If you're going for weapon customization, you may as well go all in on it, you know, double down. Very much like my grenade launcher. It works very well. Okay, this could be... Chance for the flamethrower to shine. Juicer. Got more stuff to loot around here. Yeah, properly, properly gone. You know, what, let's let's do this slightly round to the side so it doesn't go off the edge. And we don't have the access key for that, but if we get it, we'll have to remember and come back. Let's uh, let's open this up. Oh, jeez, no! That is that is a terrible time for that to happen. Right, let's try this again. Confused me to start off with because they were over the wrong side from each other to, to where you'd expect so the movement wasn't moving how I would have wanted. Alright, well, we have another large area as we move into the coring platform and I think this is probably going to be a good point to finish this episode off. Thank you very much for coming along everyone, I do hope you are enjoying this. As always, if you are, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Dead Space 3. See you soon.